Good morning, folks and family. It's Raymond X the Prophet again. It's 10 22 a.m. February 16th on a Sunday morning. Hope you're all having a great week today. Great day. Go to church, pray, read your Bible, take communion every day. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, this is the Word for Day Part 1. This is the Word for Day Part 1, February 11, 2020. The Word for Day Part 1, February 11, 2020. Let's go right into the Word of God today. And what I have for you is at 8 o'clock in the morning on February 10th, 2020. And I have this Bible app on my cell phone. And this Bible verse appears. And this is the Bible verse I have. It's in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 6. Okay, Isaiah 45 and 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun to its setting that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, and there is no other. Okay, folks and family, the next journal entry I have for you is at 8.23 p.m., February 10th, 2020. And he is a God of more than enough. He is a God of more than enough. Sure enough, he is. He is a God of more than enough. And these are the Bible books and verses that go along with that statement. In the book of Exodus, chapter 9, verses 28. And in the book of Exodus, chapter 36, verses 5 through 7. Joshua 19:9, 2 Samuel 24 and 16. And the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 31. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 44, verse 6. The Gospel of Matthew, 13, 12. And the Gospel of Luke, 22, 38. And finally, 2 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 8. So let's go to the book of Exodus, chapter 9, verse 28. Exodus 9 and 28. Entreat the Lord, that there may be no more mighty thundering hail. For it is enough, I let you go, and you shall stay no longer. Exodus chapter 36, verses 5 through 7. Exodus 36, 5 through 7. And they spoke to Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work which the Lord commanded us to do. So Moses gave a commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman do any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. And the people were restrained from bringing, for the material they had was sufficient for all the work to be done, indeed too much. Joshua chapter 19, verse 9. Joshua chapter 9, Joshua chapter 19, verse 9. The inheritance of the children of Simeon was included in the share of the children of Judah, for the share of the children of Judah was too much for them. Therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of that people. Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 16. Second Samuel 24 and 16. And when the angel stretched out his hand over Jerusalem to destroy it, the Lord relented from the destruction and said to the angel who was destroying the people, it is enough now, restrain your hand. And the angel of the Lord was by the threshing floor of Renana the Jebusite. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 31. Proverbs 1 and 31. Therefore they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies. Ezekiel 44 and 6. Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 6. Now say to the rebellious to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, O house of Israel, let us have no more of all your abominations. Matthew chapter 13, verse 12. Matthew 13 and 12. For whoever has, to him more will be given, and he will have abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken away from him. Luke chapter 22, verse 38. Luke 22, verse 38. So they said, Lord, look, here are two swords. And he said to them, It is enough. St. Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 8. St. Corinthians 9 and 8. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. Okay, folks, in favor of the next general entry I have is 8.24 p.m., February 10, 2020, and this is the message I've received during worship. Seek me early while I am able to be found. Seek me early while I am able to be found. This is found in the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 17, Isaiah 55, verses 6 through 7, Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 7, and Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 13 through 15. Also, this next message I got as well, I go along with it. Seek me with all of your heart and soul, and I'll make it easy for you to find my 
find me. So seek me early while I'm able to be found. And seek me with all your heart and soul. And that will make it easy for you to find me. So let's go ahead and continue on with the other verses. Matthew chapter 10 verse 39. Psalm 119 verses 2 and 10. And 145. Luke chapter 1 verse 53. And finally, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. Proverbs 8 and 17. I love those who love me, and to those who seek me diligently will find me. Isaiah chapter 55, verses 6 and 7. Isaiah 55, 6 and 7. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 7. Jeremiah 24 and 7. Then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 13 through 15. Jeremiah 29, 13 through 15. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me of all your heart. I will be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord, and I will bring you to the place from which I cause you to be carried away captive. Because you have said the Lord has raised up prophets for us in Babylon. Matthew chapter 10, verse 39. Matthew 10 and 39, He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. Psalm 119, verses 2, 10, and 145. Psalm 119, verse 2, Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. Psalm 119, verse 10, With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Psalm 119, verse 145. I cry out with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord, I will keep your statutes. Luke chapter 1, verse 53. Luke 1 and 53. He has filled the hungry of good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Isaiah 59 and 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save nor is here heavy, that I cannot hear. All right, the next journal entry I have is at 8.26 a.m., February 10th, 2020. I mean, I'm sorry, 8.26 p.m. So it's 20, 26 hours of military time. 8.26 p.m., February 10th, 2020. I, the Lord, read the heart, not the lips. Jehovah. This is Jehovah speaking. I, the Lord, read the heart, not the lips. This is found in these books of the Bible. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. The Gospel of Mark chapter 7, verse 6. And finally, Revelation chapter 3, verses 15 through 16. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Therefore the Lord said, Inasmuch as these people draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips, that have removed their hearts far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the commandment of men. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, verse 6. Mark 7 and 6. He answered and said to them, Well did Isaiah prophesy, He answered and said to them, Well did Isaiah prophesy, you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me, and in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. Revelation, chapter 3. Verses 15 through 16. Revelation 3, 15 and 16. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you could I wish you were I could wish you were cold or hot, so then because you're lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Okay, the worship song I have for you is a song called More from Spotify. It's by Red Rocks Red Rocks Worship, the song More. And I'll post a link to that in the description box below. Also, I'll post this YouTube link to the video. 
The next entry in my journal during worship is at 8.27 p.m., February 10, 2020. This is a message I've received. Spiritual exercise is more important than physical exercise. Physical, physical exercise profits little. Spiritual exercise is more important than physical exercise because physical exercise profits little. It's found in this book of the Bible, 1 Timothy 4 and 8, along with the other uh, supporting Bible books and verses. So 1 Timothy 4 and 8, Proverbs chapter 24, verse 5, Proverbs chapter 31, verse 17, Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31, Romans 12 and 1, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 through 20, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 and 27, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 4, and 3 John verses, uh, chapter 1, verse 2. So 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. For bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable for all things, having promise of the life as now is and of that which is to come. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 5. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 5. A wise man is strong. Yes, a man of knowledge increases strength. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 17. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 17. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 28 through 31. Isaiah 40, verses 28 through 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak and gives into those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall only fall. But those who wait in the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price, therefore glorify God in your body, and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 and 27. 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. 1 Corinthians 9, verse 27. But I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest, when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. The book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ, who strengthens me. 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. 2 Timothy 4 and 17. But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, so that the message might be preached fully through me, that all the Gentiles might hear. Also, I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. 1 Peter 3, 3 and 4. Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather let it be hidden person of the heart, with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. The book of 3 John, chapter 1, verse 2. 3 John 1. 3 John 1, verse 2. Beloved, I pray that you might that I uh, beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. The next journal entry, 8 30 p.m. February 10th, 2020. This message I received. And this is this is Jehovah God speaking to me. I will never leave you, neither abandon you, nor forsake you. You belong to me and me alone, Glenn. Jehovah, I will never leave you, 
neither abandon you nor forsake you. You belong to me and me alone, clan. Jehovah. This is the books I found that go along with what he just told me on that date. And it's found in the book of De Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verses 6 and 8. Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 5 through 6. Also Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 16. The book of Psalms, 55, verse 22. 1 Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 20. Isaiah, chapter 41, verses 10 through 13. Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. And finally, Psalms, 62, verse 11. Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verses 6 and 8. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will never, He will not leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. And the Lord, He is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Hebrews 4 and 16. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and 6. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Psalm 55. Verse 22, Psalm 55 and 22, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. First Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 20. First Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 20. And David said to the son Solomon, Be strong and of good courage, and do it. Do not fear, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, my God, will be with you. He will not leave you, nor forsake you, until you have finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 41, verses 10 through 13. Isaiah 41, verses 10 through 13. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who are incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing, and those who strive with you shall perish. You seek them and not find them. Those who contend with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing, as a, as a non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. You're teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 through 7. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Psalm 62, verse 11. Psalm 62 and 11. God has spoken once, twice I've heard this, that power belongs to God. February 10th, 2020. 831 is my next journal entry. The Lord is near to those who are broken hearted. The Lord is near to those who are broken hearted. And it's found in these books of the Bible. Psalm 34, verses 18 through 20. Key verse 18. Psalm 51, verse 17. Psalm 73, verse 26. Psalm 147, verse 3. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 9. 1 Peter, 
chapter 5, verse 7. Let's go to the 34th Psalm, verses 18 through 20. Psalm 34, verses 18 through 20. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. Many are afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. He guards all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Psalm 51, verse 17. Psalm 51 and 17, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Psalm 73, verse 26. Psalm 73 and 26. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 147, verse 3. Psalm 147 and 3. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with your all, heart, all your heart, and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Isaiah chapter 61, verse 1. Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9. And he said to me, My grace is offensive for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I would rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 7. 1 Peter 5 and 7. Casting all, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. The last journal entry, 8.32 p.m., February 10th, 2020, during the worship session. I give you my peace. This is Jesus speaking. I give you my peace. This is found in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 27. John 14 and 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Okay, folks, the final worship song for Spotify is a song called Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. Reckless Love by Corey Asbury. I'll post the link to that in the description box below. And I'll also post the YouTube video link as well in that description box below that one. That's it for the Word for Today, Part 1, for February 11, 2020. Once again, this is the Word for Today, Part 1, February 11, 2020. Stay tuned for Part 2 after this video. God bless you all and everything you do. Have a wonderful, great Sunday morning. God loves you, and so do I, very much. Take care of yourselves. Read your Bible, study, pray, take communion. Remember, Jesus is coming, coming very, very soon. And so is judgment. Judgment is on its way. Okay, folks and family, I love you all very much. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you next video upload. Lord willing. Bye-bye for now. Take care.